Okay, guys. Well, you got the dragon here with dragon works. And I thought I was going to be able to do a quick job for this fella. Uh, he first contacted me a month ago and wanted me to squeeze him in uh, to get some locks changed on this bike. Because I got so many projects in here and so much stuff going in and out. I just haven't had time. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get to everybody. But anyway, I thought, yeah, okay, you know, I'll get it in here real quick. And uh, knock this thing out for him and get it out and get back on my other stuff. But as every project seems to go, <laughs> uh, immediately ran into some problems. So uh, anyway, what happened was he bought this from a relative and they had broke a key off in the ignition. It was the only key they had. So then uh, I don't know what happened. You would think that then you could just uh, turn the ignition, but there would be no way to get gas or ever take the seat off or whatever. So um, they decided to go ahead and get the... Uh, all new ignition and locks and everything. Well, the first, the one you most have trouble with or that's really the most critical is the gas cap um, because you got to drill it out and hope that you can get the lock mechanism turned um, because it's a locking gas cap. See, it's got a lock underneath the little tab. So um, if you, you can never get gas if you don't have a key, so you got to get all new gas cap and keys that match. So uh, to remove this, you have to drill the lock out and then try to turn it so you can unlock it. And then you can take your bolts out and pull the whole thing out. And I'm often asked, why can't you just take the bolts out and lift the cap up? Because the cap is locked to the tank. So even if you took the bolts out, it still won't move. It's locked down, it's kind of spring loaded. So that, that went really well, actually. Um, I jumped on that first thing thinking it was going to take the longest amount of time and it actually went really, really well. And I drilled it right out and the thing turned. I was able to take my bolts out and pop that right off and a new one on. Um, so then I moved to the next uh, trouble spot, which is the tail section here. Now this had the key in it. Again, this, uh, this lock went real well too. Uh, let's see if the light's going to cooperate. I was able just to drill it out. It's trying to pick up the, uh, the fuel tank. So there we go. So I was able to drill that out and then stick a screwdriver down in there and turn it and unlatch the seat so you can get in here and take off the tail section. See, so yeah, it's just sitting here. Take that off so you can actually get to the mechanism that holds the lock in from underneath. But as soon as I got the seat off, I realized that this latch does not match this latch, the one that came in the kit. This is for the cable kind, which the majority of them are the cable kind. This bike just happened to have the, uh, the mechanical latch. Um, I could make this work, and that's what the customer and I just talked about. Instead of waiting for a week or two to get the other parts, which are probably three times as much, we're just going to make it work as long as it's, like he said, aesthetically pleasing and it works. Let's go with it. And that brings me to the next situation, um, the ignition. So you can't get to it. They do this for anti-theft reasons. There's no way to get to this uh, ignition system without taking a bunch of stuff off. And the first thing I was concerned about was he showed me the ignition that he had purchased and it was only a two wire setup, which is uh, unusual for Japanese. They're usually uh, three to five wires or something. So I followed the plug down. It went in the back of the headlight here. And sure enough, that's a three plug. This is probably just an extra. That's probably a kill wire. That pink one, I'll find out. But some some motorcycles, when you turn the key off, it also cuts the ignition off. Um, and then you would just use your kill switch here. Some bikes are like that. And some bikes have both. They'll go with the key or the kill switch. And I believe that's how this is set up. So we can wire that up or we can bypass it and just use the kill switch. Um, so anyway, when uh, I was following the wires and saw them going into the back of the uh, headlight bucket. 
I said, well, I got to remove that. Um, or I got to remove the lens so I can get into the headlight and see what that, you know, see what the wire was. And what I noticed was the bucket was real loose. And uh, so I thought, huh, that's odd. <laughs> and then I figured that, oh, I see what's happening. Somebody probably took that off to try to get to these bolts I'm telling you about that are way up there, those silver ones you see, the Allen. Let me see if I can get the light to work. And immediately I noticed that, let me see here. Might have to get a different angle. The Allens are completely rounded out. It's just a big circle now. Well, maybe that'll do it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's, I wish it would focus because it is a circle. Let's see. Oh, guys, this is terrible. There we go. Almost. You, you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, a lot of times it's trying to focus. I'm not going to bore you with that, but a lot of times when they get, you know, a little wallowed out, you can just take the next biggest size Allen and cap it in there and take them out, but that's not the case here. I tried a couple different ones, but um, nothing's going to work. It's just the angle and everything. It's going to have to be taken apart. Uh, take the gauges off, the top clamp off, get it upside down so I can drill and extract the bolts out or at least try to get something in there, but I'll have to soak them and heat them or whatever. If I don't, if I don't drill them out, then I'm going to have to, um, you know, penetrate them or something, try to get them things loose so I can tap it another kind of tool. But anyway, so yeah, he said as his luck would have it, <laughs> um, this is just typical for him. So it's also typical for me because every time I get something in, you know, uh, it seems to be more than what we were bargaining for. So, yeah, it just ends up taking a little bit longer. Anyway, guys, 2007 Honda 919. Really nice bike. Uh, nice guy. Good customer. Repeat customer. We're going to fix him up, take care of him. So uh, let's see what happens when we get her done. And I got to get back to work. All right, guys. Thanks. Dragon says peace out.